In fact, being a Nigerian, first of all, is already a disadvantage. It's nonsense, in my own opinion. Medical school is a full-time boyfriend. If I was in medical school, I would succeed. I am the poorest of my friends. While your mates have started their careers, you are still in medical school collecting allowance. Me and my children will all be preparing for exams together. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new to my channel, you're very welcome. My name is Busola. I'm a final year medical student living in Nigeria. I make videos about medical school and lifestyle. If you've not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button right now. Check out all my other videos. I'm sure you love them, okay? So in today's video, I was going to start doing my makeup to make a sit down video for another video. But I was just like, you know what? Why not just do a get ready with me and just discuss with you guys what my um, kind of regrets are about um, being in medical school. Um, um, looking back now, I'm in final year, I'm about to be done with medical school. It's been a crazy journey, okay? I just felt like, you know what, let me just do this video where I am looking back at the things that I feel like I missed out on or the things that I did not really consider going into medical school and just seem very crazy to me now just so that so if you're thinking of going into medical school you can consider first because a lot of these things actually came as a shocker to me not because i did not know or, or i had no idea but i didn't really put it in perspective like in my mind it was it wasn't a thing that i sat down to think about and i feel like a lot of us should have done that i think that it would have made us um, make better decisions um but yeah um i just wanted to just just with you guys about a couple of those things before we proceed i just i'm going to say it right now i don't regret coming to medical school i love that i'm going to be a doctor i love medicine i love the clinical practice i love um interacting with patients and just like being a part of their care like overall i would probably high key do it again okay overall i'll probably do it again but yeah, um, um, yeah, a lot of things should have been considered. A lot of things, I should have considered a lot of things that I did not. And I just wanted to discuss them in this video, okay? So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I am going to be doing my makeup while I just with you guys. And I'm just going to be leaving all the products I'll be using here or in the description box. So please check them out because a lot of the time I may actually forget to show you guys, okay? but like for my foundation i'm using these two i'm using the fenty beauty um pro filter hydrating longwear foundation and um combining it with this v beauty um foundation i really this was very cheap i think maybe 3k but i really like it you guys it's so creamy it's so nice i don't like it's the best honestly i don't know it was very cheap but it actually has been serving me well especially for youtube videos videos where i just wash my makeup off yeah i i think the first thing that i did not properly consider um was um about um choosing to go to medical school was choosing to go to medical school in nigeria and also um choosing to go to medical school i'm trying to mix the foundation and also choosing to go to um, a public university in nigeria i did not really consider how what's the overall effect of that would be going to medical school or going to school in nigeria first of all in fact being in nigeria <laughs> in fact being a nigerian first of all is already a disadvantage right but like now going to medical school in nigeria i feel like the system is rigged against us like being a nigerian first of all like you're already at a disadvantage now choosing to or circumstances either you chose to uh like circumstances you cannot afford to leave the country to seek better education you know you are even more at a disadvantage so um at the time when i entered medical school i genuinely just could not stand private universities in nigeria i just i just couldn't stand them um now i am i am repented okay <laughs> and i am sorry it's very it has its own pros and you know i'm thankful i'm thankful that i am um 
in a school like my school where I have amazing teachers and like actually like my teachers are kind of national standard even world standard to be honest so I'm thankful about that but um are the benefits do the benefits outweigh the risks um I don't I don't I don't think so anymore like first of all these strikes god last year eh, we were home for 11 months at first it was um um covid lockdown but that strike lasted I think almost 9 months actually so after the lockdown ended we still couldn't go back to school because there was strike and so it's just it's just a whole mess my my baby brothers went to a private university and you guys they are serving now <laughs> they are serving now and i remember that they wanted to come to my unit they wanted to come to oau at the time i remember they did the exam but like it just didn't work out for the courses that they want it just didn't work out and you know the next option was now to um go to a private uni you guys they are done now and their mates are still in 300 level <laughs> i think their mates are finishing 300 level um now or something or maybe they are in 400 level they are done they are serving you guys they are serving they started serving a few months ago choosing to do all of this in nigeria and they're now choosing a public um system <laughs> the worst actually like i i don't think it's worth it it's like you waste so much time you waste your energy on things that you don't have to waste your energy on you guys i am i am emotionally <laughs> and psychologically just an iron woman right now because of the things that you know i have gone through because i came to public uni a lot of the time people say that people like us who you know we faced hardship <laughs> in this kind of system that when we get out of into the real world like we cope better with uh, major life issues like we don't just crumble when things happen to us i agree to be honest i actually agree there are very very few things now that will um um shake the foundation of my life to be honest that will move me so much but at the same time a lot of the experiences that we have we don't need like i feel like we shouldn't normalize hardship in our lives and i feel like that's one thing that um we've done like all the experiences that i've had and the hardship i've gone through and the you know crazy crazy things i have experienced i don't think that i need them i don't i don't want to be um bracing up for a harder life because if you are telling me that it is for the future that means that what you are trying to say is that there is even like harder times <laughs> in front and i don't want i am not a suffer head minister i genuinely do not want suffering i don't like suffering i don't like to glorify it i feel like i've gone through you know some crazy just like you know hard times but i do not relish in it i do not um i don't glorify it if I was given the chance to not go through the things that I went through. I would jump at that chance to be honest. Like there's no there's nothing to glorify there. There's no you don't get prizes, you don't get accolades for having the harder life. Like there's no point. Why are you going through hardship so that you can face more hardship in the future? It's nonsense in my own opinion. So that's one thing that I feel like maybe if I could do it all over again maybe i would actually seriously consider reconsider maybe i may have gone to you know a different um setting where things wouldn't have been as difficult as the way i'm very thankful you know i love my school um um <laughs> in the way that you can love a school that has shown you the kind of paper it has shown me but like yeah um yeah i probably would have reconsidered that bit next um 
thing is that I didn't consider that I was in my video about how I got into medical school I'll leave it here if you've not seen it I spoke about how I had a lot of other interests like how I wanted to do law at some point engineering but it wasn't until and it's crazy that we have to choose we have to make a decision about our lives as teenagers as 15 year olds do you genuinely expect me as a 15 year old where i cannot even where i you know change my mind about the food i want to eat <laughs> to actually make a decision like a lifelong decision about what i want to do for the rest of my life because that's what happened like you know um you're 15 years old you're 14 years old you're 16 years old and by that time you have to have made a decision about what you are going to spend the rest of your life doing and if you now make a decision like you know medicine like studying medicine where it's like full commitment it's crazy you know and i didn't get into i didn't realize that i had a lot of other you know that i called flourish or my talents pretty much until after i was already in medical school you know i'm great at business i realized that you know i'm great at business i'm great with my hands as well i'm very i'm i'm kind of like a very creative person if we're going to be honest you know i did not realize all of that then so like i'm great with business with projects management as well you know all of those things i can do them very well and flourish and i did not realize all of that until I was already in medical school and the thing about medical school is that medical school is is a full-time boyfriend medical school will not let you have an open relationship it will not let you you know go out and explore other options if you do there are consequences you know you either give up your social this small social um, life that you were supposed to be able to manage or give up your grades or give up your peace of mind or give up your you know just give up give up rest give up self-care it's just crazy so medical school doesn't really give you the opportunity to mix things with it it's very very jealous it wants medical school wants what it wants and what it wants is your time i didn't discover it until i got into medical school but you know me now i'm a very very stubborn person and you know things actually happened before i actually decided that you know what i will not let medical school take all of my time <laughs> it was when medical school started showing me paper after i was giving it my entire time like i was not doing anything else and you are still not giving me the return that i wanted back then when i was in preclinicals you know i just felt like you know i'm giving this thing my whole time my 100 percent time and it's not giving me the returns it was like an abusive relationship and i'm like there are so many other things that i can do that i know that i would do pretty easily that i will enjoy that i will flourish at and i would have like a great life doing so it wasn't until that happened that i now decided that you know what i'm actually going to start trying just a little bit to explore all these other things because i'm in an abusive relationship with medicine and that's when i started my baking business um that's when i started you know interning at a tech startup as a um business developer i you know I stopped being an intern and then I became like an actual remote staff and that was you know that was and that's an experience that till today I am very very grateful for that I had the opportunity to do and you know I did that I you know my baking business was going literally it was going somewhere <laughs> like I had customers people knew me like a lot of people now actually know me because of my baking business cake corset and you know when I got into clinicals it's actually 500 level um, I tried I tried as much as possible to keep it afloat even with my shadow and all of that I really 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 did try but at some point I 
I couldn't I couldn't manage it anymore you know but at least I try like that's the thing I think for me I still try to I still try to you know explore I tried you know in my time in medical school I tried to explore all these things and see that you know what medicine is not the alpha and omega of my life I love it and all of that but it's not the alpha and omega you know um yeah it is kind of like the most important thing but not the only thing so yeah it just showed me that i had other talents and i could flourish and succeed in other areas just you know venturing out like that and doing all those other things and realizing that you know what i'm actually kind of like a big deal you know that made me feel good when medicine was making me feel like crap so that was you know one thing that i did that was great but the but the flip side now is that it also made me realize that if i was in medical school i would if i could give one of these other things that i'm doing like my full attention and my full time i would succeed you know I'll be very successful and that's sad because I can't when I got to 500 level I had to you know at the time it was temporary just like stop baking and now it's kind of looking permanent because I have not been able to go back to it because time <laughs> you guys time there's no time people still ask me to date like when are you going to start baking again like it's ridiculous but yeah so that's one of the things that I feel like I like looking back it was just like medicine kind of took from me to be honest you guys my makeup is being so slow <laughs> it is being so freaking slow and i hate it another thing that i think is just like a bit unfortunate <laughs> is that i am the poorest of my friends um because i am in medical school there are other factors that you know contributed to that as an adult that i am i am the poorest of my friends um all those reasons boil down to medical school the reason why i'm the poorest of my friends at this stage you can still trace everything back to the fact that i am I decided that I wanted to go to medical school so yeah um, that is one thing it's not a bad thing you know the fact still stands that you know I'm I'm quite broke okay <laughs> I'm quite broke because I came to medical school the fact that you spent so many years in medical school and in Nigeria medical school guys you spent so many years minus all the eventualities that can happen um, you spend so many years and so while your mates have gone to serve and they've started their careers and all of that you you are still you are still in medical school collecting allowance so yeah that is my predicament to be honest <laughs> um, yeah so that is one thing that I did not I also did not like fully um, fully deep i didn't fully deep it on time <laughs> and i'm just like wow i'm poor i'm poor i'm an adult and i'm here still you know receiving allowance from home i'm here still depending on my parents money to survive it sucks it, it, it actually sucks i feel like we don't talk about it enough how we are adults like we are actually full-blown adults and in medical school they kind of treat us like kids you know they don't treat us like adults like that they treat us like students well in the actual facts if i feel like if you are in um clinicals you should be treated like postgraduate students because you've already spent over four years in school you know you should actually be treated like postgraduate students but no you are actually still an undergrad so you are treated like an undergrad like the bloody undergrad that you are so yeah it's just it's just it's just a mess it's, it's the price that you have to pay to be honest it's the price that you have to pay yeah another thing that i did not consider that i did not consider hmm, and this one is really really annoying me very seriously 
it's annoying me very seriously is the fact that i will probably be writing exams till i am old and gray like when i have children me and my children will all be preparing for exams together <laughs> i didn't really deep that but like especially if i want to do um clinical practice and i want to go into residency and all that i will probably be writing exams till i'm old i'll be reading for exams just that now you know uh, yeah, I'm, pr- I'm pretty much going to be a glorified student for a long time until maybe i'm a consultant or an attending or whatnot i'm just going to be here writing exams so glorified students that is getting paid salary but you are still dealing with you know being scared of failing exams and whatnot that is crazy you guys that is that is a madness yeah so the last thing for this video not the last thing not the last thing ever <laughs> but you guys i can talk and talk and talk and not stop talking but like the last thing for this video um is that um your relationships will suffer okay your relationships will suffer and it will take you extra effort so keep them it's it's really good i always say how i am blessed with the people in my life because you know i i don't have anybody in my life presently that doesn't understand me or doesn't understand my life and you know make that i don't have anybody that makes me feel bad about um about times when i won't have time which is actually a lot to be honest if you are going to be honest it's a lot and it doesn't make sense and the truth is that like it's so crazy because I have gotten so bad that people get surprised now when I respond to WhatsApp messages on time. That's a couple of times where if I respond on time, the person will be like, oh wow, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to respond that early. Like I've gotten it a lot. And the truth is that it's not like I am busy 24 7. You know, a lot of the time, self, I am probably even with my phone, I probably saw the message. But there's a thing that medical school does to you, or at least to me. It's not, I read it somewhere that, you know, there's a difference between um, mental, physical exhaustion and mental exhaustion. Now, physical exhaustion, you will definitely feel that in medical school. And on top of that, now, you will feel mental exhaustion, like serious mental exhaustion, you guys. And so, even though I can see your messages and even though I'm just laying in bed doing, doing nothing, I just don't want human interaction. Like, it's just a lot for me. Like, my head is just full. I, I think maybe that's also because I'm an empath, you know. I am going to the hospital. I'm seeing people who are sick and dying and sad and I'm wondering how their family is um, um, handling it, how they are handling it, like if they will survive hoping that they are not in so much pain you know all of that i'm thinking about that and um you guys being an empath is a struggle to be very honest so like a lot of the time i am mentally exhausted like i just don't really want to interact and like i said i'm very thankful for the people in my life because they understand me so well and times when i go in my like that they don't justify me for it like they are very understanding and for that i am very very grateful and i am thankful for them for that to be honest but yeah um if you are somebody who doesn't have a lot of people who understand you your relationships will definitely suffer <coughs> eh jesus since when So yeah i think that that is all that i am willing to share in this video i hope that people who are considering going to medical school will you know watch this video and maybe it will help them make a more informed decision like i said i if i was given the chance to do this all over again most likely i would have probably still chosen medicine again and i would have probably still you know 
decided to become a medical student these are just the things that i did not consider that would be a problem or a thing that ended up being a problem and a thing so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i'm now going to actually go and film my actual video for today i hope you enjoyed it please if you did give this video a thumbs up please share with your family and friends subscribe if you've not subscribed and yeah thank you so much guys for the love for the support last but not least you already know don't forget to be kind to yourself and be kind to others i'll see you in my next one bye